Hello everyone, my name is Rigger and I hope you have an awesome day. Today I'm going to show you to make a simple and easy tree farm for you in your world. This farm works from 1.18.12 and all versions of Minecraft up, as far as I know. And if you guys are interested, there'll be a full materials list down in the description of the video. And if you guys enjoy this video, it helps you a lot. Can you like, subscribe, or somewhere? Helps a lot, and do appreciate it. And let's hop right into it. Today I'm going to show you to make a simple and easy tree farm right here. Now you can go any kind of tree you want on there and get as much as wood as you want. You can grow these big giant spruce trees which give you like pretty, pretty much the most amount of wood in a short amount of time. Or you can go on ahead and you can grow any of these trees you want. You can do oak, spruce, you can do birch, you can do jungle, you can do acacia, or you can go ahead and do dark oak. It doesn't really matter what tree you want to use. You can even do, probably do the nether types. So you just got to go ahead and switch out the dirt obviously with the uh, nether nylium, with the warp nylium, and the crimson nylium. But other than that, you can grow any tree you want. You can get as much as wood as you need. And uh, yeah, we can hop right in here and I'll show you guys what to do. So the first thing you're going to do is you get a flat spot over right here. Now you don't have to make it as big as this. You can go ahead, you can make it this big. You can make like a 9 by 10, I think, or something like that. Or uh, a 9 by 9, I think, or something like that. And you can go ahead and make it a little smaller. It's up to up to you. I recommend just making sure it's like 4 on all sides. That way it leaves, because some of these leaves on these big trees go four out from the logs and you want to make sure you collect all the saplings obviously and if you guys are wanting to go grind for a long time and you want to not fill up your inventory you can go on ahead and you can go in for logs in the water and they'll get collected into the chest over here and all your saplings will as well so you don't have to worry about collecting those up and then uh yeah so let's get started going over here you're gonna start by placing nine blocks so go ahead and place one two three four five six seven eight nine and then go on ahead over here and go over here and do 20 blocks that way so I'm going to do 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. And then go on ahead over here and do 9 this way as well. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And then go over here and just finish off right over here in this area and connect it clear to here. You don't have to do the edges if you don't want to. Uh, those things are just totally fine right there. Then you go on over here and grab your water. And go ahead and put water all the way back here, all on all this right here, all the way back here. In this area, clear that it flows down here. Make sure all this flows clear down here to where there's one block left. Then go ahead and dig all of this out, just one deep. Take away all these blocks right here. And then after that, go on ahead and put your water source right here. And your water source over here as well. Then go on ahead and you should have four blocks right here. And go ahead and break all four of those out right there. And go ahead and crouch and place one facing into that dirt right there and one facing through that dirt right there and then crouch over here place one facing to that hopper right there and one facing to that hopper right there they go over here in this area and break two blocks down and then two blocks right there as well you should lead right into these two middle hoppers right here place a double chest right there you can always go on ahead and break these two blocks too so you can get down here a little bit easier or you can make it a little bit yeah, better as well right here just by digging a couple more blocks out and you can also make this as deep as you want so if you want to go ahead and grind for hours on end not have to worry about your chest filling up uh, full of wood and like clogging up and kind of just like sitting on top of your hopper here and despawning You can go ahead and make this chest go down as far as you want make tons of chest on the hoppers And that way you can grind for hours and get tons of double chests of wood saplings and sticks It's entirely up to you and then after that you can go over here in this area and you can go over here and count four blocks You can do one two three and four and on the fifth block right here you can place a block right here and then go one two three and four and then on the fifth block going ahead and place your blocks down right here. And then make sure this is four away from here. So do one, two, three, and four. I see right there, you count it right there. It should, it should be correct like that. And go ahead and take all this way right here. And then go on ahead and check back here. Make sure it's do one, two, three. So make sure there's three blocks right there. And you should be good to go on that. And then go over here on this area and go on ahead and do the exact same thing. So go ahead and do one, two, three, and four. And on the fifth block, go on ahead and place another block right there. And do one, two, three, and four. And go ahead and place on the fifth block right here and then go on ahead and place your blocks right here and make sure there is four right here so make sure you don't place any blocks right here because that's four right there so do one two three and four so make sure there's four blocks spaced right here and there's a free block space back here just make sure you don't line it with that one and then you're going to go on ahead break all these temp blocks and then go over here to the middle area here and do one two three and then place a solid block right there. And go ahead and place one of two by two right there. And then go check over here and do one, two, three. So it should be three away from each other right here. And then it should be four away from here. And four away from the front. So there should be four block space in the front. Three block space in the back. And four blocks here. Three blocks here. Three blocks here. And four blocks right here. And there you go. After that, you should go and be able to go on ahead over here. 
and grab your chains and then place them right here. The reason why we're placing chains is so you can get across here easily and also make it to where it's not something that's going to constantly like, get the saplings, collect them, and make it to where they can't go into water streams and go into collect chests and they'll just despawn if you do something like trap doors or half slabs or whatever. So these chains are a little bit small hitboxes you can see right here. Um, they're not, if some saplings will still fall on them and despawn. It's kind of a little harder to find something that you can just stand and go get across and be able to make it to where the sap, none of the saplings, you know, you don't lose any sap rates and the sapling rates and they'll just fall on here and despawn. But there's a less chance that they'll fall on here and they'll just go through and go to the collection system. So go throughout here and go in these areas and put chains all over here in these areas. And you can even just do one if you want to, but you can do two and that way you can go on ahead and get across here a little bit faster and, uh, you know, no problems. And go on ahead and just do it all for all three of these. If you guys don't want to do chains, you can always go on ahead and you can take the ladders. And you can put them on any of these sides. And you can put them right on the side of these dirts right here. And you can go on ahead and you can put them on there. And then you can just jump onto them and climb up here. But there's always going to usually be a tree here to stop in your way. And also they have kind of the same kind of hitbox as the chains. It's just one of them or two of them against the wall here. Instead of them going out bridging out like this. So you'll still have a couple of you still get stuck on there. And you're probably going to have a couple of saplings get stuck on the dirt as well anyways. So it's up to you guys what you want to do. But I suggest just doing the chains. Um, you can do whatever you want. And go on over here. Grab your slabs and do slabs all the way across here. So go on ahead and put slabs all the way across here. And then go on ahead and place a stair here. And then two stairs over here as well. And then after that, you should be, your farm should be basically done. All good to go. And uh, yeah, it's quite simple and easy and really efficient. All I have to go ahead and do now is grab whatever tree you want it doesn't really matter and you can go on ahead and you can place your oak down right here grab your bone mill or you can wait for them to grow you can wait for them to grow or you can bone mill them it's up to you and you can go ahead and just grow that right there so you can see you can grow your oak right there you can grow your spruce as well or you can go on ahead over here and you might want to make sure you clear for a little space if they grow this big and this short right here and then you can go ahead and put your jungle saplings here and you can grow your jungle as well you can grow as many trees as you want doesn't really matter what they are um, you can grow your acacia, your azalea, or anything you want. And, uh, yeah, it should be good to go. And, uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy and build this farming world. If you guys did, don't forget to consider hitting like button, subscribe once more. Helps a lot, and I do appreciate it. And have an awesome day.